giving the points to, to come to tackle the diabetic emergency, one of the emergency called hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is nothing but it is a lowering of blood sugar that is below 70 mg per deciliter. Uh, if the diabetics who are not taking uh, the insulin or tablets, uh, they are very prone, prone to uh, get a hypoglycemia if they are taking overdose or maybe they are missing the meals. Uh, the symptoms were excessive sweating, feeling of hunger and tiredness and giddiness. Some people, there are some emotional disturbances. Uh, all those things will prevent. We, we can classify into there is a mild, moderate and severe. If the person is having more mild and moderate, they will have a uh, they no need of uh, helping by others. They can take simple uh, sugars or glucose or chocolate. Uh, <clears throat> they can relieve all the symptoms and they can go for a meal uh, and they can relieve off from the symptoms and next day they can reduce the tablets or insulin dosage. I want to uh, give a uh, small explanation about the relationship between the family history as well as uh, developing the diabetes. Uh, type 1 diabetes, not that much uh, relation with the family history. They are slightly, they are having increased risk when compared with the other people. They are uh, having type 1 diabetes. But uh, type 2 diabetes, there is a strong relationship with the family history. If the, both the parents, they are having a the diabetes, definitely. The, uh, children, they are uh, going to get an diabetes in their lifetime, and when they Suppose if they have only one parent, either parent, that is a father or a mother, the chance of getting diabetes in the children is 50 percent. Uh, if it is a distant relative, uh, either it is a maternal uncle or a maternal uncle or a grand -grand grandfather or a grandmother, they are getting the chance of type 2 diabetes in their lifetime, so it would be percentage. So, plus uh, the environmental uh, factors like uh, poor lack of physical activity and uh, um, a lifestyle modification and the stress that leads to the getting back to diabetes in the early age. treatment or tablets or insulin for a lifelong. So some of the few challenges in taking these uh, tablets continuously for a lifelong. Some people this may be due to the not able to pay for their medicine bill or they can forget or uh, uh, they are not um, more usage of tablets. That is poly pharmacy. Not only they are taking for their tablets for diabetes, hypertension as well as the hypertension. So they are missing the tablets and they are due to the work, uh, they are missing all those tablets that leads to poor adherence to the medical treatment that leads to complications of diabetes. Uh, they are very soon they are getting complications and they are ending up in their life. So to avoid all those things, first we have to reduce the polypharmacy and we have to take the tablets every day and the same day and same uh, uh, time advice for the prescription of the doctor.